Oh, oh, I just dropped socks. Hi guys, I am packing once again because we're going to Ohio, Valerie and I are, so stay tuned. I know you guys love Valerie and vlogs, so I'm showing Sherry what I've packed. So obviously I have my socks and underwear here. I've counted that correctly. Okay. This is one working day outfit because we're like cleaning stuff out of a house. And obviously I'll wear tennis shoes. This is my second outfit, the Louvie theater and then my biker shorts. Then I don't know what the weather's gonna be like. Oh, and I also have bra. So I brought this shirt. Okay. I, I brought this sweater. I was thinking about it. I don't know if I'll need that. It might be too hot for that, but yeah. I don't know. And I'm thinking I'll just bring one pair of jeans. So I'm thinking maybe just these blue jeans. Okay, that's probably good. I don't need that. This is for travel outfit. So I have leggings, this bra, and then this. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Do you have jammies? Oh. That's a good idea. Don't forget the jams. I won't forget the jams. I always tend to forget the jams. Okay, how does that? Do it's I? Good. Does it look like I have everything? Yes, it does. Okay. Because we're not going to be there for that long. No. And then I'm not like washing my hair because I'm going to wash it Friday morning. Like I'm going to get up early and just like right. shower and then bring dry shampoo. Okay. Cause... It looks good. So yeah, we're just going to Ohio for a quick trip get everything ready. If you guys haven't seen the house tour, I'll try to remember to link it down below with this video. This video is kind of like packing slash, uh, it's gonna be a mukbang kind of, cause tomorrow I'm gonna film myself cause I'm getting Chick-fil-A for breakfast because I have to eat at like a weird time because we have a shoot um, like later in the day and I just don't know when we're gonna eat. I'm gonna film that and I actually have a really good topic that I wanna like discuss. So that's gonna be exciting. You'll see that in like a few seconds cause it's gonna be the next clip. But yeah, I'm gonna get Chick-fil-A breakfast tomorrow. Then I'm gonna just head to the station cause they wanted me to like meet them like kind of early or in the morning-ish. <laughs> that's not very descriptive. I'm sorry that the vlogs have been like I don't know. I just feel like I think they're all right, but I'm like getting them up barely in time that they're supposed to go up. And I'm used to like getting vlogs like scheduled and everything like a good two to three days before they go live. So I don't know. I feel like I'm like turning in my homework right before it's like d the deadline. It's just so weird to me. I mean, I'm getting them all ready in time and stuff, but it's been a struggle. It's not like I'm unmotivated to vlog. It's just like I haven't had like a lot of things to vlog and then the things that I think I'm like gonna vlog I just don't get the footage that I was thinking about because I get distracted or I forget to vlog or it's just harder to vlog in like certain situations so yeah that's my life right now um just a little chaotic but we're uh surviving here on the channel and you guys are so amazing because like my views have been so good lately so i want to thank you guys so much for just like watching me like literally whatever i put out especially when my parents are in the videos you guys are just so cool and i just i don't think i thank you guys enough for taking the time to like watch my content because it means a lot to me and i try to make the videos as good as i can so all right this has become like a chitter chatter with this like mess behind me so i'm gonna like stop talking now but i don't know i just wanted to like kind of get that off my chest so you guys will know that i'm like trying but it's i don't know i'm just like feel like i'm in this weird funk with the videos yeah, but you guys seem to always like support me, which I'm very grateful for. So on to the next clip where I'm probably eating in my car, probably vlogging on my phone because I don't want to leave this camera in my car when it's like so hot out. The next day. Oh man. Okay, there we go. Got my Chick-fil-A like I promised in my last clip. I got the, it's the chicken biscuit because I love them. And as you guys know, I always get this now because we're not really in the office and each like quarter meeting they always provided these and like it got me spoiled and now we don't have it and it's just upsetting. Also sorry if there's like a black square around here. It's just because it's so hard to like blur out things and I'm just like really lazy so we're just not gonna do that today. <laughs> so I actually planned a topic because every time I do like eat with me videos, I never know what to talk about. So hopefully this will be kind of entertaining. And also you guys know, like I don't eat sandwiches like a normal person. I just have the chicken and then the biscuit because I just don't do sandwiches. Like it's just not, it just, I can't do it. The topic is people stopping YouTube and like friends that I've kind of distanced myself from 
Oh wait, I need to get some nails on. Okay, so the first topic is like kind of distancing myself from certain YouTube friends and there hasn't been any drama. Like I don't want to like say, oh, there's been drama with this person. And honestly, like even if there was, like I don't know, I hate drama and I honestly am like terrified of like people being mad at me or just like, I mean, not disagreeing with me, because, like, it's fine if people disagree with me, but, like, I just don't really like confrontation and stuff, but if I don't see, like, our values align, then I'll just, like, distance myself and, like, simply unfollow. Like, I don't want to spread hate or anything like that. I just like to distance myself. So there's, like, a couple people. It was around, like, election time, and, like, I, again, like, I don't care really what you believe in or whatever, but, like, if I know that you agree with a certain viewpoint that's against my family almost and like against you know certain certain values that I have then like I'm just gonna distance myself because I just feel that that's right um I haven't like ever gotten into like a YouTube fight with anyone but it's definitely I've made the decision to kind of just distance myself from people I mean I still watch some of their videos to support but like I don't want to develop like a deep relationship with them if you guys know what I mean like there's other youtubers too like some family vloggers that I watch I haven't even like taken a bite out of this yet <laughs> there's some family vloggers that I have watched and continue to watch that like I don't believe what they believe but I'm not like developed a friendship with them if you know what I mean I don't know if that makes any sense but there have been a couple people that I've just like distanced myself from and that's totally fine like I wish them the best with their channels and content and stuff and I still like kind of support because I do watch I just like again keep my distance okay next topic I'm gonna be like done with all the topics before I like eat this thing <laughs> so I've done YouTube since 2015 like I started kind of in 2014 but it was like on and off again and it's kind of cringy to look back on but I've been doing it for YouTube for a long time so that means I've come across and met a lot of people and like made a lot of friends and stuff which is so great I've met like one of my very good friends through doing this which is like so cool to even think but like there's a lot of reasons and there's a lot of people that I know that have decided to you know st take a step back from the channel and like not do social media anymore and there's a lot of reasons that go into it and I just thought I would talk about them so the first reason being career. So like, I don't know, let's say someone's gonna be like a lawyer. Now I'm not saying that like no lawyers can do YouTube, but that's a very like, that's like a type of profession where like, I don't know if you would want to post you getting drunk at Epcot. You know what I'm saying? Like even though social media is pretty like open and stuff, there's certain professions that you do have to be careful about because you don't know who's watching, you don't know who's gonna use it against you and like things like that. Next reason, return on investment. So if you have like 100,000 subscribers, but you're not getting the views and your CPM and RPM is low and you have a full-time job, clearly you're gonna focus on your full-time job because you're not seeing a return on investment in the videos that you're producing which that's not a reason to do YouTube is like for the money, like you shouldn't do it for the money, but after you get comfortable, my monthly paycheck, I'm kind of comfortable with it. And if that, let's just say like, we're go down, like I would probably produce less. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm just trying to think in someone else's shoes. Honestly, I probably wouldn't post less because I love doing YouTube and I didn't make a cent for like a good two years that I did this and it was still really fun. Next reason being time. So I will say, it was very difficult posting and everything when, well, number one, you have a job. Number two, you have a relationship. Number two, number three, I don't know even know what number we're on. Number three, you have friends and like clearly you don't want to like, you know, sometimes maybe they don't know you do YouTube. That sort of thing, like to balance the work, social life, relationship, uh, family time, like it's so difficult. And I know that it doesn't sound that difficult because the excuses for every time like when people say oh you vlog it's oh it's so easy you just turn on a camera there's a lot of other factors that come into it personal information can easily be leaked like on a camera when I'm in this car like my work ID is like right here I'm wearing a work shirt right now that I'm like gonna have to do something with the logo you know it's not like you can just turn on a camera 
if you don't do this full time, you know, like there could be papers like sitting in someone's living room. What if you go to your friend's house and like they have a picture of an inappropriate something like on the wall? Like, I don't know. There's just a lot of things you have to think about um, and like making people feel uncomfortable. Like that's always something that's like taken into account. It's like super awkward. So there's a lot of like little things that you play into it. It's not as easy as just like, oh, let me just turn on the camera. Another thing is people just lose passion. Like I've definitely been drained out with YouTube. Around vlogmas time when I'm producing like a video every day, it gets draining and like tiring. And like the motivation to edit is like gone. Now, the next topic I wanted to talk about, I hope you're enjoying this, <laughs> why I do this. And I know that a lot of people like make fun of the reason that every vlogger says it's for the memories. But it really is because I was telling my parents like, I don't know, not too long ago, I only have one clip of my grandma. It's on my TikTok. I may put insert it here. You're so ratchet. You're so ratchet. <laughs> oh, mama, yay! <laughs> but it's basically one clip of her. Well, there's one that she says, Merry Christmas, Alex, because it was Christmas time. But the only one that I actually have of just her is me saying, Mama, I'll say that so ratchet. <laughs> and she says it. But that's the only like clip of I have from her. And like, I wish that like, I had more, you know, and last night I was watching like some of my favorite videos of like our Christmases and like our day at Epcot, which is so weird that like there's a few people in some of the videos that like aren't in my life anymore, which is like so weird. But like the time that 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 happened, it was just so much fun. And like, I don't know, it's just like kind of cool to to see and like relive almost so. That's the reason why I really do this because like I love watching back on like old memories and stuff. Mm. I don't know I just thought I'd have this conversation because it's been something that I've been wanting to talk about. There's a lot that goes into like doing YouTube and social media and stuff and it's like I think I do a pretty good job of like trying to get footage when like I really can't get footage in certain areas but I don't know. I think that's gonna be pretty much it. I'm on my biscuit now. These things are so good. So let me know in the comments, like, if you've ever, like, tried to do YouTube or you do YouTube. Like, kind of shout out your channel if you want to in the comments. I know I have an older audience, which I'm very appreciative about. Like, I don't know, like, if I were to talk about, like, more serious topics, like, I don't think, like, 13-year-olds would want to listen to that. So I'm glad that my audience is older and I really appreciate you listening to my ramblings and stuff. I don't know. You can only, like act a certain way for so long and I feel like a lot of YouTubers have had to do that. Guys, Chick-fil-A's biscuits are so good. I think that's gonna be it. I'm gonna finish this up and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was out of town that's why the past two videos were a little bit different. My workout update I only worked out once and I ran. That's it so I'm literally not even gonna include that. If you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!